Hello guys and welcome. So in this video I wanted to answer the question, what is Days Gone? This video is aimed at people who know nothing about Days Gone and have always been curious. Hopefully it will serve as a good starter guide for you. Also as per the What Is series, I'm going to link as many useful resources in the description box below, including to this trailer, to the official website, to the Wikipedia page, and so on. But before we continue, a quick message from Past Mifri. Thank you for watching the video so far. Remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell to help with the YouTube algorithm. Now, back to the video. So, I wanted to visit this game now because The Last of Us 2 just came out. And I've noticed that more hordes of zombies are chasing after you in Last of Us Part 2. And it reminded me of this game. And I realized I haven't actually covered it on in the What Is series just yet. So Days Gone is a 2019 action-adventure survival horror game developed by Ben Studio and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment for the PlayStation 4. Set in a post-apocalyptic Oregon two years after the start of a global pandemic, former outlaw-turned-drifter Deacon St. John discovers the uh, possibility of his wife Sarah still being alive, which leads Deacon... Um, on a quest to find her. Days Gone is played from a third person perspective in which the player can explore an open world environment. Players can use uh, firearms, melee weapons and improvised uh, weapons and can use stealth to defend against hostile humans and cannibalistic creatures known as freakers. A major game mechanic in Deacon's motorcycle uh, is the motorcycle itself. Uh, which is used as the uh, character's primary mode of transportation, as well as mobile invent inventory. So, uh, basically, what makes this game stand out apart is because it's like a zombie apocalypse uh, with bikers, <laughs> but also, as well, is the style of gameplay. So, the zombies or the freakers, they tend to run at you in groups of hundreds. You know, as you saw, loads of them. Uh, at the same time. So you'll see, when you see a lot of gameplay of uh, Days Gone, you can see this. Just endless, endless freakers running at you and having to deal with many of them at the same time. Except the difference is, in this game, is that you do actually fight back in a lot of situations. So if you want to clear out a horde camp, um, you need to set out a route of traps, get take them down as much as possible. Because... With that many, simply, you won't be able to shoot them all. You will never have enough bullets, you'll never have enough progress, so you're going to have to blow up as many as possible or ca cause them uh, damage as much as you can. Now, um, when this game first came out, um, it was unfortunately riddled with a few a few bugs. I won't say it loads of bugs, just a few. But it had one of those launches which where people just focused on the bugs and they didn't focus on the game itself, which is unfortunate. I like, I find it really sad when games launch like that because I feel a lot of good work went into this game and it was plagued by that at launch. But I keep saying at launch because since then it's been patched and it's apparently a very, very good game uh, now. So fellow YouTuber Boomstick Gaming did a really good retrospective review of what Days Gone is like now, a year after release. So, um, and he has highlighted a lot of positives about the game. So, if people are looking for more um, of zombie action after finishing The Last of Us Part 2, then Days Gone might be the game for you. So, I'm going to link to the retrospective review in the description box, as well as to all the normal resources with What Is series. Let me know in the comments down below, have you played Days Gone? What do you think of it? Did you like it? And so on. Um, did the bugs detract you from playing the game further on release? Or did you play it way after release? And so on. Like, Let, let me know your uh, feedback about the game. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch a random video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there. Or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.